Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we're gonna go pick up a trailer because we got something special in at the shop. Uh, looks like Jake's plowing already. Uh, I'll just wait, I'll just have to go behind him. But anyway, uh, we're gonna head over to the cattle farm because we got the trailer there. And uh, I need that to pick up our new little toy so we can plow some snow at our own yard. But I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, so we are here at the farm. I assume Jake's going to be coming around here and uh, plowing the whole yard at some point. But, uh, yeah, we're going to grab his PJ here. But, oh man, we got a lot of snow. Uh, we went out snowmobiling the other day. That was lots of fun. Uh, not having to deal with the snow first thing in the morning. So, But now we have to deal with it. So, yeah, we're going to back on up here to this. Alright, there we go. So we're going to head back onto the shop, and I'll see you guys when we get back there. All right, so we are just pulling up to the shop here right now. Uh, we had to go to this shop because Buck does not sell any uh, bobcats that I know of. I think he sells JCBs, but I wanted a bobcat, and he doesn't really sell snowblowers. And shoot, I just got hung up on that. All right, I got out of that finally. That took a little bit of uh, wiggling there. Oh, man, there's the General Lee and a cop truck. Huh, interesting. Lots of stuff here at this shop today. I wonder if you can buy them wholesale, general lease. Very interesting. But yeah, this is the new bobcat we bought, guys. This is, this is like, yeah, one of the best bobcats you're gonna get. But we're gonna grab our new attachment, uh, the snowblower. I got this bobcat on a really, really smoking deal. So that's why I bought it. Man, man I almost hit that. Uh, almost hit that loader. But yeah, this is our snowblower. It's an awesome little unit. Plows snow like... Cr well, I, I shouldn't say plows. Blows snow like crazy. But we're going to load it up here on the trailer. I'd almost much rather have a cat skid steer. But they didn't sell cats. And I didn't see a good deal. Like, I didn't see any cats around here. And they don't, they don't come around here very often. But who knows. Maybe one day if we see an amazing one, we will have to buy it. Depending on how, uh, how everything does. But yeah, we're going to just strap it down here quick. And we're going to get going back to the house. I'm super excited to use this new attachment. I should probably fold my ramps up. But I'm super excited to use this. And yeah, guys, you guys really enjoyed the Q&A. Uh, I thought it was pretty awesome how a lot of you liked it. Uh, it was very looked forward to, I guess. But thanks for all the support on that, guys. It's awesome. And yeah, we have a lot of cool things that are going to be coming up here in the next little while. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're just pulling back into the yard here. I'm actually going to pull just straight up here because I want to get this all plowed out before we uh, pull this thing right back into the yard here. I had even a hard time just pulling the truck out this morning, but uh, we're going to unload this. Actually, I'm going to shut my truck off first. Need to do that for sure. Don't want to burn any extra diesel, especially in the cold weather. But we're going to get this thing offloaded. Actually, I got to unstrap it first. Oh, no, wrong wrong button, wrong button. There we go. Finally got it. All right, there we go. Should be good to go now. But yeah, we did get a good amount of snow the other day. That's uh, definitely a lot. All right, there we go. I think we got her. Blowing some snow now. There we go. Oh, man, this thing can really go. This is kind of fun. I don't want to go too fast here. We don't want to start skipping over snow. Man, this is... This is a beast. Oh, man. I didn't expect it to do this well. Who needs anything else? Snowblades? Nah, the snowblower is the way to go. I'm just going to take it right back out here to our horse pasture so we can uh, get at Gus here if we need to. Man, this thing does a phenomenal job. There we go. We're getting this done here real fast. We'll have this done in no time. Very impressive how uh, how fast it gets this done. I'll get his uh, his end blown out here in a bit. I just want to get our main roadways done here before we do anything anything else. There we go. Back on our way over. I'm, su I'm still surprised how amazing the job this thing does. It's quite the little machine. I guess I could have got one for the uh, three-point hitch, and I wouldn't have had to buy a bobcat. But still, this little thing's awesome. I love it. 
But I really wanted a bobcat, so that was another excuse to get a bobcat. Because I need to plow snow. <laughs> that it wasn't cheap. Well, it was cheaper than usual. Like I found it on a really good deal, but they're not cheap usually. Like, they're very, very expensive. Plow around here. I shouldn't say plow. We'll we'll blow some snow around here. I already cleared out. I left the garage door open, of course. Typical me. But I already shoveled out that end, so I can just blow a little bit of it out here. I shouldn't say plow, because we're not plowing the snow. I don't understand why I say plow. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just say plow. Alright, there we go. Pull back onto here. We'll get going the other way. There we go. Yeah, Jake called me uh, up this morning and said, Hey, if you need me to come here and... Uh, plow some snow out for you I can and I was like no nah, I'm good I'm all good I'm getting this new snowblower so I should be good to go so yeah I just okay that's the wrong that's the wrong uh, okay this is the right one to uh, turn it that way I think yeah there we go I think we got it now oh lift her up a bit I think we're stuck on some snow you think we wouldn't get stuck in snow because we have a bobcat with tracks but who knows? Maybe. I know in real life it's very possible. We have a skid steer. We actually have a John Deere skid steer with tracks, and that gets can get stuck. You got to get it really stuck though, but it's still very possible to get stuck. All right, back on up here. Take another pass on down here. Okay, I want to turn it the other way, so uh, we can get it. Kind of over, yeah, over here. Clear a little side path here. So if we need to get into the shed, it's very accessible. I'm not going to really worry about clearing out that equipment because uh, we don't really need that equipment at the moment. So it's not exactly necessary. I don't know why the person doesn't show up on that cab there. That just must be a mod glitch or something. A bit weird, but it'll still work. All right, there we go. We got the last of her done here. That didn't take terribly long. Well, I guess we still got to do over by Gunner there. But we got most of it done. Got all the yard cleaned. I piled some of that up in the middle there. Probably not a smart idea, but I guess I can always blow it out of the way if I need to. But we got most of the roads cleared. It's all pretty much good. I got a path, a path out here to Gunner cleaned. I just got to do kind of around his uh, his barn there and uh, we should be good just so we can get in and out of there to uh, load and unload some bales there pull up here we should be able to get in right about here alright three passes should be pretty good then I'll just go on the other side here and get some more done alright there we go take a couple passes down here and there we go. I'm going to call that good. Um, so I think that's going to be it for snow blowing today. I uh, checked on Gunner. He's good. Man, I bet that water tank is just... Well, I, I didn't leave any water in there, so it should be good. Uh, shouldn't crack or nothing. But we don't need to plow too big of a too big of a road here. It's just kind of... Just to get the tractor in and out, pretty much. It's not like we're driving the truck through, so we're pretty much good there. The D, or not the DOT, <laughs> I guess um, the RM should come through here and plow the other side of the road, just out front, side front of my house there. Uh, or, yeah, I'll, I can call Jake and let him know to plow that out there. But we're going to pull this into the shop here. All right, I guess I didn't need to shut it off, but whatever. Turn it back on, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to go pull in here. Alright, shut this here. And we're going to pull our truck into the yard. Alright, so that we just talked to Jake there. Uh, he should be coming up here in a bit. Uh, he might be a little while here. Alright, we're just going to shut this door here because my Dodge is good to stay out in the cold. Uh, what does Gunner need? Need some water. I don't know why his water is all the way down. I thought I filled it. Must have not. So we're going to go grab uh, the John Deere here and we're going to go fill his water. Alright. Back on up here. Hook on to the water trailer. There we go. And give him some water. I don't know how that's not frozen. 
it's really cold out. Maybe I'll need, actually, I'm gonna pull this into a heated shop here. That does not really need to sit outside. Um, if we can help it. I don't know how that was not frozen. That was surprising that wasn't frozen. But we're gonna pull it into the heated shop here. It's just a little Quonset over there. I, I can throw the heat on to it. So I just gotta, it just cost me a little extra each month to uh, heat it, but it's kind of worth it versus having a frozen water trailer. And I'm gonna throw this thing, I wanted to throw this thing in the heated shop anyway, because we don't really need the Kubota until spring to kind of when we need Boeing and whatever. But this thing we're gonna need through the year probably. All right, there we go, doors are open. We'll just pull her on in here. There we go, we switched the heat on. We should be all good for that. And I guess we'll just wait till uh, Jake shows up. Here he is. All right, he should be able to get this plowed out no problem for us here. Oh yeah, there you go. Just just plows it right out, pretty much. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna call that good. Hey, man. Will that do for you? Yep, that's perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. The county is a whole, whole lot slower at getting on the gravel roads because they're just not as traveled as much. Oh, okay, no problem. I just saw you ripping on the highway there, so I didn't know if uh, you were doing the county roads as well, but. Yeah, no, they have a grader that comes out to do it, but sometimes it takes them a couple of days, so I figured I'd just come up here and do this for you. Oh, okay, and yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, sorry yeah. to make you come all this way. I could have done it with my, uh, could done with my snowblower, but you kind of, I kind of already had this uh, all put away and stuff. But. Oh well. Yeah, no, it's all right. I, uh, I'm just about done getting all the highways cleared. The well, main that's ones good. Are done anyways. So. That's good. There's some that might not get cleared today by me anyways i don't know if someone else has a shift today or not i didn't check the schedule but yeah well uh i got a couple other things to do around the house so all righty man well you have a good one yep. stay warm and i'll you see too. you later <laughs> see ya see ya all right well that was awfully nice of jake to come by but yeah i think we're gonna call her for a day i got some things to do in the house clean up but yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one.